Kat and today I am doing the Totally Should've book tag. This tag was created by Emma Books and I was tagged to do it by Gabriella Pop like a year ago. So I'm a really good procrastinator but you know, hey Gabby, I'm finally doing the tag. So let's jump right into it. Number one, Totally Should've Gotten a Sequel. So I'm going to include TV shows and maybe movies in my tags from now on. So I'm going to count sequel as another season. So I'm actually going to choose two TV shows that should have gotten another season. The first one is Agent Carter. Agent Carter was amazing. It was so good. And Peggy is amazing, wonderful, fantastic. I love Peggy Carter. Why did the freaking ABC cancel it after two seasons? Seriously, I love Peggy. She should have gotten another season. Like, it needed another season. And just so you know, these two are different. And I only bought one of them. Another one was a birthday present. This one is 102. And she's holding the bomb from season one. And it's closed and it's yellow. This one is 96. And she's holding the bomb. But it's open and it's silver. So they're different. But... I love Peggy. Like, it was a kick-ass female show set in the 1940s. It started filling in some of those gaps from after Captain America the First Avenger onwards, and it was so good. The second show, which also only got two seasons and should have had another like 10 billion seasons, is Dollhouse. If you haven't heard of Dollhouse, it is a Joss Whedon show and it stars Eliza Dushku. That's how you pronounce her last name, yeah? And it's it's so interesting. There's this place and they, people like, the company takes in people who I guess won't be missed or something and they uh, wipe their minds and then reprogram and basically treat them like dolls and like hire them out to people. And Echo, Eliza Dushu's character, starts remembering things after they've, after they've wiped her mind and everything and then things get really crazy and it was so good and it was so good. This is also another show which stars Enver Jokia and oh it's so good. It needs another season. I think I remember reading somewhere that Joss Whedon said that it just wasn't the type of show to put on like mainstream TV. Well we have Netflix now so Joss Whedon Get your butt over to Netflix and start a dollhouse revival. And maybe a Firefly one too. Number two, totally should have had a spin-off series. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know how in love I am with the Vampire Academy slash Bloodline series. I love them, they're my favourite series ever. Everyone should go read them all. Start here at Vampire Academy, which you can't actually see in the frame and then keep going, and then read Bloodlines, and then keep going. And while Bloodlines is a spin-off series itself, I need there to be a spin-off series of Bloodlines because I need to know what happens with all these characters. I need to see, like, people get married, people have kids. I need to see, like, things that have been said that have happened but we didn't actually get to see them. Just Rochelle Mead, write another Vampire Academy series. Number three, an author who totally should write more books. I literally answered that in the last question as well. Like... Rochelle Mead. More of these books. Like, I'll get around to your other series eventually, but I need more Rose and Dimitri and Lissa and Christian and Sydney and Adrian and Jill and Eddie. I need them. Number four, a character who totally should have ended up with someone else. I'm going back to the TV series here, and this one is from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and that is Sky. I am a hardcore Skyward shipper. Like, I need Sky and Ward together. And I know they're going to do some weird, like, alt-universe thing in the framework when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back, but it's not going to be real. Like, I want Ward back in the real world, and then I need him and, well, her name's Daisy now, to get back together, because I'm running out of Skywood fanfiction. Yes, I know that Daisy is not with anyone else right now, but, you know, she dated Lincoln afterwards, and a lot of people shipped her with Robbie, but Skywood. Skyward forever. Number five, totally should have ended differently. Do I even need to say anything about this one? Number six, totally should have had a movie franchise. I think this one should only have a movie franchise if it is done like perfectly. None of that overly CGI thing, like a lot of things need to be real and then you supplement that with CGI. 
And that book is Splinted by A.G. Howard. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling, so you know it would be really pretty if it was made into a movie. And I really, I love this book. And it would be such an amazing movie. It just needs to be done right. Number seven, totally should have had a TV show. This is another one that if it was to be adapted, I would want it done right. It couldn't be done wrong. And that is A Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And I'm actually going to say not a TV show, but a Netflix show. One of those ones where they're like 50 minute long episodes and there's only like 8 to 13 of them per season. I think that would be really good for this type of book. And yeah, with all of the chimeras. Yeah, chimeras. I only learned how to say that because they said it on Teen Wolf. Yeah, so with all of the chimeras, it would have to be done right because it could end up looking bad really easily. So I think it would be like another one where they should make a lot of things physically and then supplement with CGI. Question 8. Totally should have had only one point of view. I mean, we know how her writing styles between the two characters ended up, so... Number 9. Totally should have had a cover change. Now you already know how much I love these books, but the covers of these books don't match the wonderfulness of what is inside them. And that is the Bloodline series. These are okay covers. They're not the worst, but they're not the best either. And what annoys me the most is that this model here, this is Sydney. She's on, co on the covers of all the books. In the books, Sydney has brown eyes. This model has blue eyes. And she has blue eyes on all of these covers. Like, you photoshopped the tattoos on, but you couldn't photoshop her eyes from blue to brown. Like, they're blue on all of them. And these just need a cover change. And I'm not going to get the last two out because, one, I can't hold them, and two, there's stuff behind there. And that would just awful. Number 10. Totally should have kept the original covers. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of a twist on this question. I don't think so much that they should have kept the original covers, but that they should have kept the original colours. So these are the original covers to the Vampire Academy series. This is Shadow Kiss, as you can see, it's purple. And this is Blood Promise, as you can see, it is green. And this is Spirit Bound, as you can see, it's like pink, red. Now, when they changed the covers over, they did something that really annoyed me. So this is the new Shadow Kiss cover. Do you see the problem here? Wait till you see Blood Promise. Original cover, new cover. Why? Why did you switch the colours? I associate the colour purple with Shadow Kiss and the colour green with Blood Promise because that's how the original covers were. Why did you swap them, Penguin? And then with Shadow Kiss, I don't even know where they got yellow from. Like, why? It's so weird and unnecessary. Like, why couldn't you keep the original colours? They kept the colours with the other three. This is the original cover to Vampire Academy. This is the newer cover. They kept the same colour. That's fine. I mean, I don't like that it says now a major motion picture on there. But, yeah. And it's not a sticker. I can't take that off. Though the cover change with Vampire Academy that I'm completely happy with is the 10th anniversary edition. This is really pretty. I like this. Why don't you just change all the covers to this originally? And yes, I own three copies of the Vampire Academy novel. I also own two copies of the graphic novel. But I didn't pay for that second graphic novel. Or this. I won the set of these covers when I entered a competition with Penguin Teen Australia and Dominic Sherwood answered my question and he said my name. Hi, I'm Dom Sherwood and I play Christian in Vampire Academy Blood Sisters. I have a question from Kathleen. So yeah, I didn't pay for these covers. Actually, I didn't pay for that one either. My mum bought me that one because I was 14. But I paid for this one. And the last one. Totally should have stopped at book one. Now for this one, I haven't actually read book two or three, so I don't have an accurate judgement on this one. I think I am on the minority of this one, but I just really kind of did not enjoy this first book. And that is Half Bad by Sally Green. Reading this, I was confused and kind of underwhelmed because it was hyped up so much. And I just didn't enjoy book one so much. I own book two, but I haven't read it yet. And I think this could have worked as like a book on its own. But I guess, yeah. We'll 
I guess I'll find out one day when I read book two, but I think you should have just had the one. And done! It only took me like a year to get around to this, so, you know. So that is all for this video. Please comment below if you agree with anything I've said, or if you disagree with anything I've said, and what would be the answers that you have to these questions. This tag has been around for a while, and I think I'm actually one of the last people to do it, so I might just tag Kate's little corner. I don't know if she's done it yet, but she's one of the more likely people to haven't done it. But if you want to do this tag, I tag you. So thank you for watching, please like this video and subscribe, and hopefully I will have a thing to say for the outro soon, but don't expect it actually anytime soon, because I am pre-filming a lot of videos, so I'll have an outro eventually.